What up snooze one here back again with a new brush pack for Procreate. This time it's the glow pack and it is all about glowing effect brushes. In this video I want to walk you through the pack, show you all the brushes, show you all the extra stuff I put in there. So let's start with a quick overview. I worked on 44 Procreate brushes with 6 different effects. Sorted into 8 categories. I also threw in there 12 curated color palettes. You also find 9 backgrounds in the set with different textures. To give you a little guidance with this pack, I worked on a comprehensive brush pack manual with an overview on the brushes and tips and tricks and everything you need to know about these brushes. I also worked on an interactive version for an easy start with the brushes. And I worked on a video guide that follows along with the brush pack manual with videos all around this brush pack taking you through the whole process from the installation to your first piece. Oh and of course we got worksheets for each category on the whole alphabet. And this time I made it this way so you can import it as a PDF file and write directly into it. Alright cool, let's get started with a deeper insight into the brushes. Let's start with thunder brushes and the thunder brush. This one is a round tip brush with a light glowing lightning effect to it. I also made a version which is a little bit brighter and stronger. The thunder strong. And another version that is building up on that, the thunder broad, which has a broad tip. Next up we got the thunder electro brush. This one has a bit more of an electric feel to it. And I also made a broad version for this brush as well, the Thunder Electro Broad. Let's move on. Next we have the Thunder Flat, which gives you a really nice two colored flat texture. Moving on with the thunder brushes, we got the thunder texture, which is building up on the previous one, the thunder flat, with a bit more grainy texture. Next up we have the thunder dual. This brush also has a two color texture, but it has this overlaying kind of effect. And for the last brush of the thunder section, we got the thunder details, which you can use to add further thunder lightning kind of effects to your lettering. The next category are the fire brushes, starting with the fire brush. For a nice fire effect, I would recommend choosing an orange for the active or primary color and a red for the secondary color to get this nice fire-like effect. Don't worry about this, you find an explanation on colors and the color palettes and all that stuff in the brush pack manual as well as in the color palettes. Next up we have the fire big, which is building up on this previous brush with a bigger flame effect. And for this one I also made a broad one, the fire big broad. Moving on with the fire brushes, we got the fire smoke, which is great for adding smoke to your artwork. Next up we have the fire spark, a round head brush with flying sparks. And to end this category with, we got the fire details brush, a brush with flying sparks you can use to add details to your lettering. All right, let's look at the next category, the galaxy brushes. First one, we got the galaxy brush with a nice turquoise and pink color comp. And this galaxy wipe to it. The next brush is the galaxy stars, which is building up on the previous brush with a few stars around it. Next up we have the Galaxy Shine Brush, a rounded brush with a galaxy effect and a few shining stars around it. And closing this category we got the Galaxy Details Brush, which you can use to add some nice light stars into your background. The next category are the Matrix Brushes. I would propose using a light green and a darker green to get this effect. And 
I made different versions of this brush. We get a broad one, a monoline brush without pressure sensitivity, and one with a kind of soft texture to it. And in this category is the matrix background brush, a pattern brush to create seamless pattern in the background, for example. Moving on with the tech brushes. A round tip brush with a circuit board inspired texture. Next we have a tech ship brush, which has this technology inspired texture. And I also made a broad version of this brush as well, the tech ship broad. Following this brush is the tech system, a round tip brush with this line pattern. And this one also comes with the broad tip, the tech system broad brush. And in this category are the background brushes. You can use these to add details into your background or expand the pattern. For the last brush effects category, we are looking at the particle brushes and starting with the particle gleam brush, a rounded brush with a gleaming like particle texture. Next up is the particle bouquet, a rounded brush with a heavy particle effect. Next up is the particle glitter brush, which you can use to create a nice glitter like effect. The last brush in this category is the particle detail brush, a great brush to spice up your work with. The next category are the flare stamps and the flare brush. The flare stamps are a great way to spice up your work. And if you add them directly on the layer where your letters are at, they interact with them. The flare brush lets you control the intensity with the pressure you apply and is great for smaller flares. The last category of this pack are the extra brushes, featuring two neon brushes. You can control the intensity with the pressure and also with the saturation. So we have low saturation. That means a very bright stroke, and if you increase the saturation, you decrease the intensity. You also find a color palette with different intensities inside the color palettes. This brush is also great to add in details. The last brush I want to talk about is the extra halo brush. This one has a very smooth and fading out texture, which is perfect for adding in backgrounds. All right, that's it. I hope you like it and that this video could give you a deeper insight into this pack. I'm really excited to hear your thoughts on these and should you have any further questions, feel free to comment or reach out to me via email or Instagram. All right, thanks for watching and have a good one.